What's up, guys? That really gross guy here. We are back to take a look at the new Revenant Prime Access or Revenant Prime that has now made it into the game. Uh, or Vladimir, if some of you have been with us long enough to understand why he's called Vladimir. I guess he was originally marketed as or the concept was a like vampire Warframe and it turned into more of a I would say like a life leech slash Eidolon Warframe um, because it pertains mostly to the Eidolons but very cool design Revenant Prime access if you would like to pick it up you can get all of the cool things Revenant Prime Phantasma Prime the Tatsu Prime as well as some Prime accessories we're going to jump in and take a look at of course the prime access and the things that come along with it we have revenant prime here currently um i basically have set up a loadout that i plan on running uh this revenant prime as uh, in the future so instead of the phantasma prime which is what revenant uh comes with if you buy this prime access you can see here i think the phantasma prime is a really fantastic weapon um but i'm kind of going with like a, a certain theme here so i ended up changing it up but here we go a phantasma prime with the prime access if you are interested as well as if you are interested or maybe you want to farm it uh there is the tatsu prime which is also super fantastic um very very cool weapon um i highly suggest checking out the uh the prime warframe trailer if you have not seen it uh, it makes revenant look incredibly badass but anyways what we're going to jump in and do is see what we have in terms of the warframe the accessories and um, some color schemes so right off the bat what we have here is revenant decked out in all of the prime accessories that you can see um, well i say all of the prime accessories but that's not exactly true because revenant prime does actually have his own shoulder pieces so if you do get revenant he does have these like built-in shoulder pieces that you can swap with any of the accessories that you deem necessary and of course if you buy the prime access pack you will have access to the vatala or yeah vatala prime accessories so um i personally like these more however for maybe a specific aesthetic i could change it around also if you ended up deciding to switch to um like a deluxe skin like the revenant mephisto skin you could run as long as you're using revenant prime you could put on his specific uh prime armor if you would like so a little bit of an extra option that you now have for having revenant prime with your fashion framing um, whether it's a deluxe skin or a tenogen skin you now have that new added option so that's pretty cool anyways jump on back to what we have these are the default colors for Revenant Prime, there are those shoulder pieces up there that look absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. I like the energy flow that comes off of them. Very, very cool. Down on the legs are also the Fatala pieces, which you can see there for the most part. A little bit of energy flow coming off of those as well. Really interesting design. I really like these uh, as well. The chest piece, another, you know, uh, there is... Uh, energy flow let's just switch over here. you can see that there is some energy flow without the prime accessories on so um when you pop this on it looks like there is still some energy that comes off of this chest piece right in the middle but it's kind of overwhelmed by his stomach but anyways um there's that which i think looked great and lastly would be if you get the prime access the uh the cyandana which uh what was this the cyandana is called the Aremus. Um, another pretty cool Cyandana. Um, it's got energy flows off of this one as well. A uh, little bit of drapey energy flows, which I think are pretty nice. Um, I think it's a really good addition. Very cool. But All right, so what I'm going to do is, firstly, let's jump over here. We have everything with no prime accessories. So the shoulder pieces you can see there. 
Um, this is about as default as it gets. So yeah, default color scheme, default attachments and all that stuff. Um, you could of course take off this prime armor altogether and just have these bare shoulders if you would like. Um, that's up to you. You could obviously put on whatever you want if you uh, think that's, that's, you know, the way you want to go, then you can do that as well. So um, I think it's pretty cool. I, I like the design for sure. Um, it is, I say there's a lot of energy flow coming off of it, and that's where I find myself making changes um, to kind of dim down the energy colors. Um, I'll show you what I mean as we go through a couple fashion frames. I'm going to jump over and show you what a default, like if I wanted something similar to the default color scheme, what I personally, for my taste, would go with. Um, I went with something that's a little bit more uh, dark, dark gray, or even a black for um, the primary color. And I felt like it was supposed to be because of he was originally named Vlad uh, for the concept design. It was based on a vampire. You think of, say, Dracula, who has his cloak and whatnot. I went very dark with this one. But then that crazy metallic for the prime, um, I felt like instead of almost this, I don't know, really yellowish gold, I went with this uh, really light um, goldish, I don't know, it's just much lighter. Um, I like it quite a bit more. So if I wanted to stick with a dark theme and wanted to stay a little bit more of true to the Vladimir slash Revenant design, I would stick with something like this, um, which I think I'm going to keep ultimately because I did end up finding myself moving to some lighter colors with some of my other fashion frames. So a lot of people are doing some sort of um, like angelic or celestial kind of color scheme i feel like this is a little bit down that path but i didn't want to go full like i don't know bright pure whites i wanted to stay true to some of our prime kind of colors which are kind of the the lighter grays uh, a little bit of that that goldish color as well and even some silvers in there so i stuck with something like this and i really really like it i think it's pretty cool um, I had a light, like light, light gray energy flow color, which some people might love, some people might hate. Um, I just felt like it kind of fit the theme. I think it's kind of cool, especially with the gray behind most of it, like on the hands and stuff. It still looks like it's got some coloration to it, uh, maybe a little greenish. So there's that. I think it's pretty cool. Jumping over. Some a little crazy and abstract. I kind of randomized this and then I put in, instead of like a bright, vibrant green or a blue or something, I ended up going with this like silvery color underneath the shoulder pieces and, you know, in the waist. Um, I don't know. This gave me more bloody vampire kind of feels, uh, like Vladimir the Impaler kind of crazy burned down murder people in his... Anyways... Vladimir the Impaler, if you don't know, is a very crazy, psychotic, uh, evil person that existed at some point in time in, in history and murdered people um, that did not like him. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyways, they, supposedly he drank blood. So this kind of fits on theme. I think it's kind of neat. Um, not for everybody. I know that for sure. But yeah, I don't know. It's it's there. We'll do some randomizations. Maybe you guys can find something you like. But before we do that another light kind of color scheme but i've been telling you guys in a lot of my videos i've been really getting with some of these like emerald me metallics and stuff like that this i think looks awesome um my inaros has a similar design my inaros prime i think looks fantastic um a couple others have have kind of uh gotten this emerald treatment and i'm really digging it i think it looks super super cool but maybe it's not for you. That's okay. That's why we have some randomizations we're going to go through. Um, let me currently start here. We'll go through and just kind of see see what we can see. Um, I did do some randomizations earlier and did some tweaking in order to get some of the colors you, you previously saw. Um, I did find it a little difficult 
to find something I loved. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just the randomizer not treating me good, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not finding so many colors that... Ooh, that's not bad. Did take me a little bit to get here. This is very similar to kind of my, my emerald, but uh, maybe even better. I don't know. Actually, that's pretty good. Um, or closer to th this guy. I don't know. I like that. I really do like that. But, of course, feel free to pause the video and maybe try to take down these colors the best you can if you see something you love. Make little tweaks. Um, the ideas of this video is to help inspire you if you're trying to do some fashion framing. I, it kind of hurts to click over that, but I do have two very similar color schemes. Maybe I'll revisit it in the future. But here's another darker design, a little bit of like a copperish metallic. I think looks pretty decent. Um, I forgot to mention a lot of my energy colors. I found kind of watering down or making more of a translucent color. That one's not one of them. Um, like instead of a crazy yellow, I think it was like this when I randomized it. And I brought it down so that it was a little bit less in your face. I feel like it draws from the eye too much and you can't really appreciate um, Revenant Prime in his full glory if it draws from the eye too much. So I wanted to kind of water down uh, the energy flow. So um, this isn't too, too bad. Um, overall color scheme, I don't know. I like I like the fiery, flamey energy color I think looks cool. I feel like you could do kind of a, a white and red or a gray and red. I don't do too much of the... Um, the edgy kind of design but I'm sure there's going to be people out there that make it work and make it look good um, just not personally my taste but uh, this is a little bit more green vibrant green than uh, than maybe emerald uh, maybe that's for you Ooh, wow that's even more green um, maybe that's your thing um, I do think um, if you want to go dark Purples are a decent way to go. I know I randomized over it real quick, but maybe we'll come across another one. This isn't too bad. Um, but purples also aren't bad for trying to make this frame darker or give it a kind of an accent color. This is kind of interesting for kind of a more feminine, crazy revenant. But um, yeah, purples, purples do work. Something like this, um, that's kind of a darkish blue sea sea green blue i don't know um but the purple metallic is is kind of neat um i that is kind of a purplish let's just kind of remove some of this yeah i mean i'm just saying i'm just saying if you want to go dark but you don't want to do black and whites purple may be the way to go um right kind of purple i think would set this up to kind of pair well with like a energy flow Eidolon themed Revenant but anyways we won't go too much longer um, do some more randomizations like I said I felt like it was a little hard to come across something I loved when it came to clicking the randomize button but you know um, if you pick up the frame uh, maybe you already have something in mind or maybe you're struggling to fashion frame in a specific way and maybe the randomized button is one way you do it um, let me know let me know how are you gonna fashion frame your revenant uh, do you plan on even picking them up at all or are you gonna farm them if you picked up prime access already um, I'm curious but I think that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm excited because Revenant has two Tenogen skins. Three Tenogen, no, two Tenogen skins now. Once That's the deluxe. So now we have these cool shoulder pieces that can be paired with one of our uh, Tenogen skins. So it's interesting. But I'm going to be doing a quick look at this Revenant Armin skin here very shortly so stay tuned for that but thank you guys for watching hope you see you guys again in the next episode Blah.